when I decided in January 2012 to actually come to Berlin, I thought that the process would be a lot easier than it was. But the actual coming together of the exhibition was way more complex than I ever had to uh, imagine. I just forgot what it's like to go to another city and start again. I'm used to actually working in environments where I have a team of people around me that I know, where I have venues around me that I've used, where actually the process of setting up an exhibition is locked in. Here we had to get in Russian painters and we had to get in Polish cleaners and you know we had to deal with German customs and you know I had jet lag and I was losing my keys and so yeah, I've learnt a lot yeah, and the next time it's going to be a lot easier. exhibition is curated around um, both Aboriginal and Australian contemporary art. So, you know, I'm trying to show a cross-section of current art practice in Australia in terms of photography, sculpture, painting. makes Australia quite extraordinary in terms of art practice is on an indigenous level it is the oldest existing art practice in the world which is continually being undertaken by the same group of people. At the same time we have another culture inhabiting the same land which is a western but increasingly Asian urban culture. Both these people which have great differences and similarities live in an island continent which is absolutely vast and relatively isolated. The light in Australia is searing compared to the light in Europe. We gravitate towards colour and texture because you can see texture under light. It's not as frequent as you would imagine because when you're enmeshed in the art world you see so much and that's what we do. We become kind of walking, walking slide libraries and we see so much. But when you see something that has the gift of creativity, there is no actual immediate explanation. It's an emotional reaction. that you are looking at something produced by somebody who has an incredibly different headspace to you, which is radically different from my headspace or your headspace. It's a view of their world which is incredibly specific, but at the same time capable of being universal. And you can't even intellectualize why immediately that you, you think this is good but you have the gift and you have the experience that is you get the immediate future shock of something that's quite extraordinary and that doesn't really require words you realize that this thing is as close as you will ever be to him that 
there can be no closer. Because you cannot be in the artist's head. My God, you probably don't even want to be in the head. But you've got as close as you will ever get to something which is just extraordinary.